As enterprise and consumer users alike drive ever greater volumes of data across the world's fixed and wireless access network connections, so it becomes ever more important that the supporting transport networks are upgraded and updated to help keep traffic bottlenecks at bay. And to talk about the role of optical networking innovation in today's communications networks is James Watt, who is Vice President and General Manager of the Optical Networks Division at Nokia. So James, great to talk with you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, why would you say there's a growing focus on optical networks and the deployment of fiber in general these days? I think there are two main two main reasons for the the growing focus. I think first is the the increased reliance on uh, networks of all kinds uh, for everything, uh, whether at home or or in the business context, whether uh, to to run our cities and other infrastructure. So, and you know, I think with the pandemic, that that's really become clear uh, how much we rely on it. Uh, on the other side, at the same time, there's been an increasing drive to capacity. Uh, whether uh, with the uh, move of workloads to the cloud in the business context, uh, increasing demands uh, for various applications from the home, including work from home, and even things things like we're doing today, uh, and and moving on to the emerging metaverse. So increased reliance on one hand, and and in, an increased need for capacity on the other, all at the same time. And how has the technology underpinning optical networks advanced during the past few years? And how do you see it evolving further in the near future? For the past uh, more than a decade, the, the core technology in the transport side has been uh, coherent technology. And over the last uh, years, we've constantly increased the capacity through uh, improvements in, in modulation schemes and use that to, to grow what we, we, we can and make better and better use of the fiber. We're approaching Shannon's limit. And as we do, we're going to need to shift away from increasing what we cram onto each wavelength into focusing on the overall network uh, simplifications and, and reducing the, the amount of optical infrastructure that, that's required to, to get the bandwidth where we need it. So uh, with that in mind, what would you say are the key issues facing network operators today? Well, I, I think on one hand, if you look at the, the need for capacity, you know, that, that gives them challenges, not just in cost, uh, but in, in power as well. Uh, it, it gives them also challenges in, in how far they can push their, their existing infrastructure. And on the other side, you, you have the operational challenges. Uh, you know, how, how hard these uh, networks are to operate as they become increasingly complex. Right, yeah, and that's a, a really big challenge. So, um, uh, you know, what is Nokia's vision to solve these problems? Uh, we, we encapsulate it with the phrase scale made simple. So, so we want to address both those sets of problems head on. On one side, we, we want to help our customers scale up their networks uh, or scale them down in the case may be. The important part about that bandwidth, given we rely on it so much, is getting it to the right places in the network. Yes, a lot of it, but not always a lot of it in every place. So scaling, whether through improvements in, in the photonic line, uh, in the coherent technology to, to maximize what you can put through, and in the, the switching and routing mechanisms to make the best use of that bandwidth in the network sense. On the other hand, the, the complexity of these things has to be simplified. Uh, and there, you know, two primary focus. One, uh, network automation, uh, leveraging AI, ML, and other software technologies to simplify the, the planning uh, and management of these networks. Uh, and on the other hand, a, a keen focus on network architecture, network architecture evolutions to make sure we can, we can simplify not just the operations, but also the networks themselves. Okay, and that ties in with what we're hearing a lot from the operators these days as well. So what would you say is maybe new and different about Nokia's approach to helping the operators achieve this? I think there, 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 there are a couple of things. Uh, first, uh, we take a, a, if you will, a, a network-wide, a network-focused approach. Uh, this 
part of the network uh, for a long time is, has been technology heavy, much as our, our previous discussion was. But we take a focus not just on the, the technology parts, the operational parts, but the helping our customers to be able to uh, deploy these networks anywhere in the globe. So make sure we can plan uh, and deliver and execute, integrate these networks everywhere on one hand. It, it, the, the building blocks are important, but in the end, what the customer needs is a network that, that serves their purpose. On the other hand, staying with the technology, uh, this has been an area of continuous investment for us. Uh, we've been a leader on the photonic line side with a, an early C plus L solution. We've continued to, to invest there, invest on the coherent technologies, and as I was mentioning earlier, on the network automation. You know, on the technologies, we've even gone and uh, made investments to vertically integrate in certain key areas where we believe it can allow us to offer a much better solution to our customers. Okay, so uh, what we, what can we expect from Nokia in 2023? What's coming down the pipe, as they say? Last year, we delivered significant upgrades on the uh, OTN solution and scaling in, in high-speed client interfaces, in, in new WDM interfaces, as well as uh, on the network automation front, as I mentioned earlier. This year, we're going to continue to, to aggressively drive simplification, both through network automation and architectural efforts. And then on the capacity side, we're going to work and continue to drive scale. We, we have uh, some improvements to, to bring uh, on capacity. We want to deliver, uh, you know, much better capacity, much better uh, power efficiency and and really set a new benchmark in the in the transponder arena. Okay, well, um, a lot of that is uh, right at the heart of what operators are looking for. Energy efficiency, of course, increasingly important these days. Uh, James, it's been great to get your take on what's happening in the optical transport market and to hear what Nokia is doing. So, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Ray.